For most people, a sports-related injury will occur sometime in their life, whether it may be from golf, volleyball, football, or any of the other sports. According to the Center for Disease Control, high school athletes alone account for an estimated 2 million injuries, 500,000 doctor visits, and 30,000 hospitalizations each year. Sadly, I have had to deal with numerous sports injuries throughout my life, and I've learned steps to take in order to decrease the likelihood of obtaining a sports injury. I'm going to give you four simple steps in order to decrease the likelihood of you getting a sports injury. My first step is to be in proper physical condition. Sports demand a balance of strength, coordination, agility, and many other attributes in order to compete. If your body is not in proper physical condition, then you'll be you'll have much more uh, much higher likelihood of obtaining a sports injury because your body isn't in shape in comparison to somebody whose body is fit, strong, and uh, the tendons and muscles are all strong. Uh, my second step is to wear proper protective gear. Uh, gear such as a knee brace, mouthpiece, a helmet for football are all uh, necessary uh, sports equipment that you need to use that will decrease the likelihood of you getting a sports injury. If you're wearing a helmet in football, you're going to obviously have a less likelihood of getting a concussion with somebody that isn't, even though it is required. My third step is to warm up and stretch. Stretching increases blood flow and muscle temperature. When you increase the blood flow and muscle temperature of your body, your body is in much better shape in order to compete at a high level in comparison to somebody that had just got out there and they're all cold and their muscles and tendons aren't warmed up. My fourth step is to hydrate. Adequate fluid intake is essential during all sports related activities. If you do not have proper hydration, then your body can easily become dehydrated and you'll get cramps such as uh, cramping your knee, cramping your leg, uh, quad, quad strain, hamstring, uh, anything like that. Being in proper physical condition, wearing proper protective gear, warming up, and hydrating are all, all will help to combat sports injuries. With an all-time high of 30 million children under the age of 14 participating in sports, it is more important now than ever to take these precautions in order to ensure the safety of everyone playing sports, according to the Center for 